From the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, this is an ITTV special report. Our next guest is from a company, actually heading a company, that makes it simple for people to enjoy Wi-Fi access on their laptops or other mobile devices at more than now 400,000 hotspots worldwide. I tell you this, and you've heard me say it on the air before if you're a regular listener, we couldn't travel into tomorrow without our next guest service, and you'll see why. President and CEO of Boingo is Dave Hagen. Dave, welcome back into tomorrow. First chance we've had to do it in person. How are you? That's true. Thank you, Dave. It's great to be here. It's a pleasure, and you know, our regular listeners know that I've talked about Boingo a lot, and we do regularly, especially when we're traveling the world. The first time I had the opportunity to utilize Boingo, I was sitting uh, in the airport in Tokyo and saying, I have got to figure out how to get online. The flight's delayed. I mean, it's going to be 13, 14 hours anyway. I can't be that out of touch. And I found Boingo, and I started using it and saying, this is excellent. And what do you mean, a bunch of hotspots? I think then you had a mere 12, 13,000 of them or something. So it's been a number of years. Correct. Yeah. And, and I thought that was a lot you know, for anybody right. else. That was a lot then. Now 400,000 hotspots worldwide. You guys have been doing something right. Well, we've been busy. Yeah, so, you know, we've been at it for a decade, so you know we're we're uh, making great progress. But mm -hmm. yeah, we launched the service in 2001, I think, with maybe 200 locations, and uh, yeah, up and over 400,000. And someday, wow. you know, in the not too distant future, it'll be a million. So. Oh, love it! Yeah, and of course, the idea is that business travelers, especially families, anybody who's out and about, uh, whether you're traveling or even just in your own neighborhood, but not at home and not able to get on your own Wi-Fi have realized that Boingo saves the day uh, and saves you a fortune, too. Uh, we mentioned uh, the IFA show in Berlin. We're there every year as well. And once again, this last year at the hotel, if it wasn't for Boingo, we'd be paying $30 U.S. a night just to have access. And that's absurd. you know. And it's just the guys need to check their email. We might need to upload a, 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 an interview or something like that. But the importance, we don't have to tell everybody, of being able to be connected is there, and you guys continue to make it happen. And in 10 years, pretty good growth. Yeah, no, fantastic growth. And you, gave, you just gave a great example of one of the real benefits of Boingo and Wi-Fi in general, which is if you travel internationally with a smartphone, as soon as you leave your home country, whether you're an American leaving uh, the U.S. or you know, European leaving your, your European country, mm -hmm. as soon as you go outside of your country, the cellular mobile data rates are incredibly oh, high. Yes. And most people find that out the hard way. They get a $1,000 bill <laughs> yes. from their cellular company because they just left their email on, they left their mobile um, cellular data roaming uh, sure. service on, which is part of the system setup in your phone. Right, and, and generally not thinking about it because right. if you travel just, just around your home country, it's not generally an issue. That's correct. Yeah. And so people are shocked by how much it costs just to keep their email up and running, do a little bit of web browsing, and so Boingo provides a great service for the international traveler. You've used it yourself. I, just, I was in Italy in the fall, actually, for a CEA event, a Consumer Electronics sure. Association event. And instead of getting a $1,000 bill, I spent about $50 using Boingo. So, yeah. again, I was sort of living our service, and, and uh, so I understand your point exactly. Oh, for sure. And I have to say this as well. They're good quality connections. I mean, we're, we, oh, very we're, fast. we speed test everything every time we're anywhere for on any kind of service. And, and we're always very impressed with the fact that you guys are able to deliver fast service, which means your team is hard at work to make sure your partners are delivering what they should be. No, that's a great point. And, 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 you know, my example in Italy, and I'm sure yours when you were traveling in Germany, you probably weren't connected necessarily most of the time to actually a Boingo managed and operated network, but rather one of our partner networks. And so we work with over 125 operators around the world of Wi-Fi networks. And when you get connected, we want to make sure that you have a great experience. And we do that both through our software app, which you can download through um, any of the app stores and get it on your device. And that'll help you find the network and then get connected to the network and then kind of in the back office, if you will, we partner with those operators to make sure that it's, it's very high bandwidth and so you can do sure. the things that you want to do. Yeah. And it works, too. I love it. Uh, last fall, you released Wi-Fi Snapshot. Tell us real quick about that. So uh, periodically, we put out data on sort of the, the change that's going on with um, Wi-Fi networks and the different devices that are getting connected to Wi-Fi networks. And so you know, back in 2007, the big change was the iPhone. The yeah. iPhone came out. 
changed the smartphone revolution or started the smartphone revolution, and now we have Android and, and Windows Mobile 8 coming out mm -hmm. um, that are sort of following the footsteps. And so a little over a year ago, the big change was the tablet, right? The iPad, from again, from Apple, yeah. you know, changing the way we are all connected. They, Look they at all the iPads you have to, around to here. to change right? things occasionally. It's yeah. funny that way. Yeah. And, and uh, so what we do every once in a while is we publish sort of that changing dynamic in the market, what types of devices are getting connected to Wi-Fi networks, and how much data are people consuming, and kind of what are they doing when they're online. And so the, the big change has been, it's no longer a, a laptop-driven world, it's very much a smartphone and, and tablet-driven world. Yeah, and as long as you've got Wi-Fi capability, and almost anything mobile does, or should yes. these days, uh, you're able to connect with the world, and it is so important. You get that peace of mind, if nothing else, being able to know you, you can let family know you've arrived safely, or simple things. How about that video conferencing back home with the wife or the kids or whatever? It's the, those warm fuzzies, I think, as well. No, it's great. In fact, you know, if you think about some of the, the really cool new apps like FaceTime, yeah. the Apple product can only be used on Wi-Fi, right? Cellular yeah. networks don't allow it because it's such a high bandwidth um, product. Yeah. But talk about being able to stay in touch in a you know, warm and, and cozy way. You can actually... We could we wouldn't even have to be here face to face, Dave. We could actually do this remotely. And look just at the money we could save. Down. I know we'd save travel dollars. <laughs> we, we should work on that. Maybe this will be the year of less travel and more Wi-Fiing. Right, but a great way to stay connected. As <laughs> oh, you for said. sure. Yeah. They shouldn't just say it requires Wi-Fi. They should say it requires Boingo. I I love that change. We'll work L on let's that. Work, I appreciate it. We'll do just that. And real quick, in our remaining 30 seconds, uh, we talk about the warm fuzzies. Part of that is security as well. Yes. And when you're on Wi-Fi, you have to be careful in certain instances. You guys have an initiative there that's helping to protect us, too. We have. And so, you know, we all love to get, uh, be connected and get connected. And oftentimes, we'll see a free network. And we'll say, oh, maybe oh, I'll jump right on. I think I'll jump right on that. But it is risky. You know, someone can spoof your account and, and get information from your from your smartphone or tablet, whatever you're connecting with. And so we always encourage people to use a uh, virtual private network or a VPN service. Right. And we launched one of those, which is free. So it's free to uh, download. You get connected to the Wi-Fi network, and then you launch your VPN service from Boingo, and you know that everything is encrypted, goes back to our data center, and then out to the Internet, and so you're completely safe. Excellent. Boingo.com, B-O-I-N-G-O. -O. There should be a song. It almost sounds very similar. Boingo.com. We'll get you there, too. You'll be able to get to Dave's site and all of our guests from the 2012 International CES when you hit us up at intotomorrow.com. Dave, as always, a pleasure to have you on the show. And by the time we talk next time, you'll be at least a half a million, I'm sure, but more Wi-Fi hotspots literally around the globe. Thank you, Dave. Much Our appreciated. Our pleasure. We're back with more as Into Tomorrow continues from Las Vegas and CES. I'm Dave Graveline, intotomorrow.com. <laughs>